Hey everybody, it's Chris from Two Brews. I'm back at 14th Star today with the second finalist of the Make the Cut Homebrew competition, and you are? Uh, Tom Cole. Tom, congratulations on being finalist in the competition. And we're gonna brew your beer today, right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm told. What are we brewing? Uh, so we're brewing a uh, Belgian wit beer today. Okay, great. Tell us a little bit about it. Is this your first time brewing that beer? or? Something you've been doing a while? So, yeah, we've been brewing for a little while. The first time I brewed this exact recipe. Um, you know, being a Belgian wit beer, it's, it's pretty light body. Um, you know, a little bit sweet, not really hot flavor. Um, a lot of spice coming through, really easily drinkable. Okay. Good. How long have you been home brewing? Oh, geez. Um, just about 10 years. Mm -hmm. so, great. Great. And so this will be a bit of a bigger system for you today. You, yeah, yeah, to say the least. Good, good. Um, all right, well, we're going to go uh, We're gonna go mash in and uh, get your beer started. Great, great. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you for being here today. We've got a nice mixture of uh, enzymes that are active uh, within the max to get a really nice conversion. So the orange peel, you do get quite a bit of bitterness out of that. Even so this is coriander, uh, ground coriander, so it comes in like ball form. Um, what we do is we uh, really fine grind it to increase the surface area, increase the, the aroma, the flavor, and the, so it'll dissolve and it'll come out later in the world bowl, it doesn't. And what else are we putting in? Uh, we also have some sweet orange peel, Valencia orange peel. Um, kind of like the rind of the orange, it again is pulverized. Um, it does have some bitterness to it, despite the name Sweet Orange Peel. Uh, but it kind of counteracts, it gives it that, that summery, the, um, you know, the freshness kind of smell. So how's it going so far? Uh, great. Good. It's just a waiting game now. We're matched in. It's going to sit there for about an hour, right? Just about an hour, yeah. yeah. The malt bill is, uh, it's got, some, it's got a, well, quite a bit of wheat, which you have uh, generally a wit beer. Um, also, the spices, the coriander, and uh, uh, the orange peel are going to add some really interesting uh, characters to the beer. Um, as well as uh, yeah, the addition of oats to give a little bit more mouthfeel to a lighter body. A lot of times oats are more used in uh, stouts and porters. Uh, things like that, but uh, there's a lot of lighter beers that actually use them uh, just for mostly body, but they add a little bit of flavor as well. So once uh, both beers are finished, uh, we'll be putting them out to distribution for a few select uh, bars and restaurants. I think there's uh, six of them, um, as well as here. Um, and basically, they'll be served together in uh, short pours, whichever size that the bar restaurant wants to serve them in. Um, and then they will be given a ballot uh, and they get to vote between the two which one uh, uh, is their favorite. So that, uh, as well as the original judging uh, scores that the beers were given, uh, we'll, uh, we'll say who the winner is. And once we find that, we're going to do a 60 barrel production batch where we'll put it in cans as well as, uh, as, well as uh, kegs. So. end of the brew day, everything went well, right? Yeah, good. Survived. And so now we're going to sit the fermenter for how long? Um, about a week. About a week, okay. And pretty soon people are going to be able to go into their local bar, try your beer with the other finalists and, uh, and give it a vote, right? Correct. Absolutely. And then uh, we'll maybe see you, maybe see Brett back here when 
and do the production run. Yeah. Very good. Thanks for brewing with us today. No, thanks for having me. All it's right. Great. It's been fun. And we'll be back with more from Two Brews very soon.